For this video, we're going to look at renaming the track numbers and the uh, track titles using FUBAR 2000 and how we can easily get those numbers filled out if we have that information already available to us. So in this case, the, uh, the titles are all just called track 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And for the number, there is no track numbers. We'll do the track numbers first. That's the easiest one. Um, what you want to do is get them in the right order and, uh, well, hopefully you can sort them in the right order instead of manually doing it. If you wanted to manually do it, you could go to properties and just say one. And so now it's filled out as one. Uh, but if they're, if they are labeled like this in such a way that it makes sense, you can click uh, up here on the title and it'll sort it uh, alphabetically. And so track one, two, three, et cetera. Uh, there's an auto feature here. And what it is, is you highlight all the tracks and then you go to properties and for track number, say auto track number. The only thing to watch out for this is that do it this way, where you click on the first track and then shift click the last track. Don't go up here and just right click on this because if you'll notice, whenever you click up here on the album, it just randomly puts the tracks in, uh, in sequence. There, there's no uh, order here. And I don't know if it just does it randomly every time. Eh, that'll know if they change there but anyway so you don't want to order them using this sequence so go down here click the first track and then shift click on the last track and then properties uh, right click properties and then for track number say auto track number and so now it puts all of it in order and it fills out the total track right here Okay, and so now you've got the tracks. And for the names, uh, there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you have um, paths set up, so here, if, um, so the names are in the file path, and so we can get it from that way. And to do that, uh, click them again, and then go to properties, and then on track title, right click it and say format from other fields. And then there's, you can see I've got various versions of this that I've done over time. And um, let's see, I think, oh, um, All right. So what this does is this is um, this is a command within uh, Fubar 2000 or yeah, and what it's doing is it's the right. There's a right and a left, and that means you're you're cutting it. You're you're cutting the field, and you're anchoring from the right or the left. And then you're using, um, you're getting the file name and then you're turning it into a length and, and getting the number of elements from the file name. And then this final number is the important one. And this is where it uh, cuts it off. Now, the only problem here is that because there's no zero in front of the nine, all these numbers aren't gonna quite work the same. So you see, it, if I put one, it cut off that first number, but it left the zero on 10. If I put two, now it cuts off the space and there's a space on track 10, but that's okay, we'll, we'll go with that. So we'll hit okay. And then what you can do is you can say clean up and that should have gotten rid of 
that track, uh, that space. So see, right here. And like if I just put a bunch of spaces there, and then I said clean up, it should have gotten rid of it. Yep, so it's all gone. Okay, and then you hit OK, and let me get rid of that path. All right, so now you've got the track names filled out, and you got it from the name of the titles of the file names. The other way to do this is to go to um, VGMDB or something else that has the name of the tracks and find the track. I'm going to use the catalog number here. And I'll enter that in. All right. And what we can do here is we can uh, open Notepad++ and copy these tracks, and then paste them, and then use a macro. And I'll put the macro, a link to this macro, on Pastebin in the video. Um, I have this one, the video game DB track format. And so I got rid of the track numbers and then the times. And I take that, copy it, and I go back over to here and just click on one and then shift click on 10, properties, and right click on track titles and automatically fill values. And from here, clipboard, line per track, and that means Every line that I've copied into the clipboard is now going to represent an item. And in here, I put title, and it's going to apply it to the title um, uh, field, the tag. Hit OK, and see now it changed it. And there we go. And so now I've got all the track titles as they show up in. Uh, the VGMDB.